Okay guys and gals and welcome to Assassin's Creed 3. I'm really excited to start this let's play. Even though Assassin's Creed 3 isn't the best Assassin's Creed game out there, it definitely started a new thing for the series. It definitely introduced some new concepts that are really good and have made the series a lot better. So I'm excited. Let's just get it going. After we finish this, we'll be playing the tyranny of King Washington. Whatever. Start new game, obviously. Yeah, sure, we'll go with Desmond. Used to be when people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up. Or laughed them off. Sometimes both. But we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning, with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found. All of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group. The same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars. As the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years. Even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything. To show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching, bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know that ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be when it does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long-lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him, however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. Well, that was a good introduction, I would thought, to the game. Here we are, a loading screen that we will see many, many times. But yeah, so, may not be the best Assassin's Creed, but it is definitely a solid game. And the only thing that, the only major We're thing here. I found wrong with this, is that they changed the character models so much that you can't really recognize them that much anymore. I mean, Desmond looks completely different, like he's had freaking facial surgery. But okay, whatever. So we come back to where we left off at Assassin's Creed Revelations. Which I also played through on my channel, by the way. And two, and... Let's go. Brotherhood and one. And all the DLC. So... Let's go, shall we? Oh, this sensitivity is quite high, isn't it? It's quite a high sensitivity. High sensitivity. So I just finished recording um, episode two of The Walking Dead. Uh, so... My voice may be a bit crackly. I hope not. But it may be. I've got some, like... Actually, wait, yes, I got like one more sip of orange juice next to me. That should help a lot, not really. Wow, freaking, no matter where you go, there's always bloody graffiti everywhere. Got an orange juice less now. Uh, 
I got no orange juice left now. That like made no sense what I just said. Wow, the apple is glowing. This is Ezio's apple, isn't it? Yeah. I think the Templars have um, Altair's apple. I believe. I can't remember where Altair In put his apple. In another moment, down went Alice after it. Never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. Thanks, Sean. Just saying random quotes as always. Good to know your freaking characteristics haven't changed. But yeah, also in the DLC we found out that Lucy was a freaking double agent. So yeah, this game doesn't actually run that bad on PC. Oh shit, I didn't... One sec, let me just check my, um, my, oil, my, uh, no, my freaking, uh, screw it. I'll check after this and see what my, um, video settings are at. Because they look pretty good. And I'm getting decent, because I always heard that Assassin's Creed 3 and Black Flag were, like, very unoptimized for PC. We're here. Thank you, Nolan North. The guy's in every single video game in history. It ain't a video game without Nolan North's voice. Yeah, the new parkour techniques. See, this is what I like what was in, um, introduced into the game. There's one parkour technique that was introduced into the game that I don't like. The fact that that jump climb thing, jump catch thing is automatic. I don't like that. Oh, what the fuck is this thing then? What is this thing? Well, we're definitely in the right place. Yep, that's right. I just found something on the floor and I'll just stick it into the nearest hole. That's how I work everything in my daily life. That's how I'm playing this game right now. I just found something on the floor and I stuck it into my computer. Stuck? Since when am I fucking English? I mean, I am English, but... My accent hasn't been English for ages. It pops in every now and again though, which is quite annoying. You might have heard it, by the way, which is not that good, but okay, I'm rambling. Just look at this amazingness. I'm like, I'm rambling while there's like an amazing thing going on in the background. Okay, I've got eagle vision. You must. Find the key. What key? Son. Sir. You're not my dad. Who the hell are you? Here we go again. Yay, I freaking got yes, unconscious man? again. Going to the you animus. Hear us. This is bright. Uh, yeah. What happened? The temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So naturally, you dropped me into the Animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay? Yeah. You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you. And I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. Just no idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. She's talking to me. Okay. Okay, Desmond. While you were, uh, visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. Right. Okay. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. Okay, I'm walking. No, I'm not. I'm running. Huh. Okay, good. We got some new parkour. Oh, fuck. Come on, Desmond. Run like a normal okay, person. Desmond. Let's practice climbing on these objects. Hey! 
See, everything's like freaking, um, what do you call it now? See, I didn't do that. The game did that for me. Everything's like, um, auto automized now. I don't know how you say it. Uh, it's like automatic now. But meh. It's part of the game. It's evolving. I don't mind. Wait, did I miss the wrong? I didn't get where I need to go. You serious? You serious game? God damn it. It does feel more fluid though. I can't say that. What the hell happened to his hands? Look at those things. The hell? Are his hands like in some sort of like freaking danger? I don't know, but they just looked kind of bad. Kind of really bad, actually. M thinking about it. See, I was already here, game, but they made me go back to it. Damn it! Already experiencing issues. Great. Free run your way through this little obstacle course. Yes, I can do that. Hey! Good, good. Hood. Oh, I thought I saw a leap of faith. Never mind. Ow. Run! That's a constraint. These are optional objectives that raise your synchronization rate. I know. This right, was in Brotherhood. Follow the on-screen instructions and kill the two Templars. Yep, I killed him. <laughs> Whoops. All you have to do here is jump the gap. Jump it? I'm jumping it. Oh god, how am I supposed to jump that? How the fuck am I supposed to jump that? I can't jump that. Are you fucking stupid game? I can't bloody jump that. Oh. Never mind. Turns out I could. Turns out I could. Hey! Hey! Sounds like a freaking old Kung Fu movie. Hey! Oh my god, Desmond. You can't just keep doing that. You have to actually. Because, like, so that that happened to me when I first played this game. I just, like, kind of just jumped over the fence. And it was annoying. Because, like, it jumped me off the edge. Okay, so the world is getting built around me, apparently. Synchronization levels look good now. We should be able to build the world. Time to find out what the temple wants from you. I am this unknown stranger, which I know, which he... He was also in Black Flag, and he's also going to be in Rogue, interestingly enough. He was like a child in Black Flag, though, and he's about the same age that he is now in Rogue. So, yeah. Sir, everything all right? No, it's not all right. Yes, fine. Put some deodorant on. You I'm stink. I'm preoccupied, that's all. Don't forget your invitation. Master Birch will be meeting you inside. Thank you. Where shall I retrieve you once you're done? In front of the Opera House. And be quick about it. Don't expect to be here long. I'll bring her round at once. Perfect. I say perfect a lot in my let's plays. I've been I've noticed that a lot. Like it's like kind of my backup word, I'm just like perfect. When I don't know what to say, I just say perfect. Invitation, please. Shall I take your coat, sir? Did I just give him my hat? A new email received. Yay! And gentlemen, you are requested to kindly find your seats. Because the guy in um Black Flag is actually this guy's father. Not mentioning any na evening, mentioning sir. any names Please though. Okay, yes, I'm coming. Uh, I'm apologies. No, I don't apologize. Don't apologize, man. Do not apologize. Evening, Haytham. Reginald? I can't Haytham. tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? Uh, eagle sent vision. Not sent, so it's back to vision, is it? There he is. 
I see him. Let's go. What are we doing to him? One of, the boxes above. The of course, I know I played this game. You'll need to find another way up. Another way up. Oh, I will. Okay, time to go. So I'm actually really hoping that I can finish Black Flag before Assassin's Creed Unity comes out. So I can, like, play Unity on my channel first. Because I will be playing it the day it comes out. I don't care if I need to record it or not. I don't care. But I'll try and, rec I'll try and finish Black Flag and all the DLC before um, Unity comes out. Or at least before I get to... Um, Rogue, I don't know. Okay, so I need to go this way. See, I'll just try and finish. I'll do all side missions and stuff, but I won't rush the game, so I'll try and get them recorded and uploaded as fast as possible. So you may see like two Assassin's Creed videos a day compared to like. So I may go back to five videos a day. Like, one Assassin's Creed, one one game, another another game, another another game, then the other another Assassin's Creed. So I'll probably do like two Assassin's Creed a day uh, to get through them all. I hope you don't mind. Uh, if you don't watch my Assassin's Creed, then it won't even it won't really affect you because it won't affect your series that you watch or anything. It'll just be have one more Assassin's Creed video a day if you watch that. Okay, here we are through the door. Pick lock. Damn it, that's right. They put lock picking in this game, which I really don't use. Wait, there it is. There it is. Wait. Oh shit. Why can't you do like the Skyrim lock picking? That's good. Come on, come on. Good. Do the Skyrim lock picking, it's easier. 